To function properly, the cell must maintain a stable internal environment. Therefore, transfer of materials has to be achieved without an excessive buildup of chemicals. When particular molecules are needed, for example, glucose, the cell will take these in and discard other materials to preserve equilibrium. There are three types of transport when maintaining cell equilibrium. Passive transport occurs when chemicals concentrated outside the cell cause a flow of small molecules to push through the membrane until a balance exists. This process, known as diffusion, is the basis of the intake of digestive products by cells lining the intestines. Active transport is the process using chemical energy by which the cell takes in larger molecules that would otherwise be unable to enter in sufficient quantities. Carrier molecules within the cell membrane bind themselves to incoming molecules, rotate around them, and release them into the cell. This is the means by which the cell absorbs glucose. Active transport may upset stability, but the cell compensates by shedding other matter. The movement of water through the cell membrane from areas of low to high chemical concentration is called osmosis. This alternative process provides for dilution of chemicals unable to cross the membrane by diffusion to maintain equilibrium within the cell.